Uh, Representative Jones, does the gentleman yield to a question from the gentleman from Iredale, Representative McNeely? I absolutely will yield. Yes, he sir. yields. Representative Jones, I, I want to ask you the question is, I understand that you went into public school and you went to Harvard and Harvard Law. And the question, I guess, is uh, would you have been able to maybe achieve this if you were not an athlete or a minority or any of these things? Should any of us be shocked that this white man in this clown suit believes that the only reason a black man can go to Harvard is for basketball or football or some sport where he's jumping, running, being a buck and entertaining white people. You were a student trapped in a school that the slowest, you know, in, in the wild we'll say the, the slowest gazelle does not survive, but yet the herd moves at that pace. Or because of affirmative action. So the brightest child sometimes is held back Let's and don't be point of order. Anybody? Anybody surprised? If you are surprised by this man's thinking, then you have not been in America longer than a day. Okay, I'm, I'm hoping I wasn't the only one that got shocked by that comment that the only reason you went to Harvard is because you were black and an athlete. I did not say that. I said, would that, did that end up being one of the reasons? I do not know that. I asked okay. him this. Right. I asked him this. Okay, all right. I, I don't mind answering. Jump down. Okay. I, I, I just want to say that, uh, I, I'm just going to say one thing. Harvard had five rankings for their students. One, two, three, four, five. And when I graduated from Harvard, I was in rank two. So I earned my place and I did well. No. It is not new news that white people believe, white racist people believe that black people are incapable of being anything other than the stereotypes that are associated with white supremacy and the lies created by the United Daughters of Confederate, the KKK, and anybody else that needed to demonize black people so as to justify their insignificant feeling as it pertains to their idea of white supremacy. That is not a lot to think about or wrap your head around. It's as easy as America. It is American as apple pie, baseball, and slavery. White people think that black people, black people are incapable of doing anything without the help of white people. Not all white people, and I don't need to say not all white people, because my point is clear. When you look at the institutions of this country, when you look at the standard, and standard by, by standard, I mean everyday run-of-the-mill racism that exists that Black people have to deal with in this country. It's crystal clear. It's crystal clear how our white neighbors see us. And even those who are allied behave in this manner. And I know that to be fact. I'm an elected official in North Carolina, and the governor is yet to move on white supremacist death threats that I get daily. The governor has yet to act. There's been no investigation into the Klansmen that threatened my life. But I've been investigated for turning on a Confederate monument. So yes, this is appalling from a Republican, but hey, white is America. White is America, and supremacy is their game. I'm Monday Robinson. Have a good evening, but not before you be equal. Peace.